fans, the Jim Catfish Honor Award is presented annually to an Oakland Athletics player whose play on the field and conduct in the clubhouse best exemplifies the competitive, inspirational, and courageous spirit of the Hall of Fame pitcher, Catfish Hunter. The 2024 recipient of the Jim Catfish Hunter Award, as selected by a vote of his teammates and coaches, is Shay Langoliers. Presenting Shay with the award today is A's manager, Mark Kotze. Congratulations, Shea Langoliers. Oakland native Dave Stewart played eight seasons in the green and gold, winning 20 or more games in four consecutive seasons, including an all-star nod in 1989. Oakland Tech alum Ricky Henderson played 14 seasons for the A's, a 10-time all-star, a 1990 MVP. He's the all-time leader in runs and stolen bases. Please welcome Athletics Hall of Famers, Dave Stewart and Ricky Henderson. All right, let it fly. Thank you, Dave Stewart and Ricky Henderson. Kamar Rocker, last one against Toronto. Three innings for the big right hander. And Brent Rooker into right field. Rooker on base. We get the party started for the Oakland Faithful. Here's the payoff, and that one is lined out to right field. Jankowski on the run, and he runs it down. Second out of the inning. Gracefully done out there by the speedy Travis Jankowski. Boy, Jankowski got a great... Here's the one-two from Ginn, a swing and a miss. Kelly goes down a couple strikeouts for JT Ginn. That'll get the crowd going here at the Coliseum early. Start. Here it comes, and that's up the middle. Semyon is there, and that will do it in the second inning. What? Has Lowe had a routine throw over there first <laughs> today? I don't think so. Wow. And you're a big, big part of that now. Yeah, this was... Yeah. That's hit towards Wilson to Geloff. On to first and a double play for the Oakland A's. Yeah, boys. 6-4-3. You know they roll them up tight here in the Bay Z. Come on, baby. Let's go. It's funny because Dallas had zero questions about singing the national anthem. This one out towards <laughs> left field. It'll be a catch for Langford coming home. Lawrence Butler, it's two to nothing. Let's go. Sacrifice fly from Shane Langoliers. And the crowd on their feet. Shane Langoliers, the longtime terror against his hometown team, collects the RBIs, 77th of the year. Does a nice job planting his foot on second, stretching out. Oh, what a snag! Put the snag ups on him. Zach Geloff. Web gem. Go and get it, Gelly. Quick first step. Pays to be an athlete. Zach Geloff, one of the bigger second basemen in the game. I mean, that is just exceptionally quick reaction time. Trying to shade it. He's going to drop it. A run coming home. It's 3 0. Oh. That kind of reminds you uh -huh. of another play from a Texas Rangers outfielder, doesn't it? Somewhere, Josh Hamilton's going, see? 
Told you it's flight. Told you it's a high sky out there in Oakland. The pitch to Garcia, and that's lined out to right field. That's a base hit. It'll chase Smith to the plate. Langford into third. They'll stop him. RBI single by Garcia, and the Rangers are on the board. It's three to one. That was a good job by Garcia. Bouncer, right side of the infield. They'll go to second for the one out. The throw to first in time for the double play. Now the Rangers will check. And my guess is this one, yeah, that one's going to get challenged. And it will get overturned. Low, it looked to the naked eye like he beat it out. The call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Texas will retain their challenge. This one is center field. J.J. Blade on the move and down. Shaded up that right center gap. Ball scalded off the bat. J.J. Bade with a quick break and a great line. Lay out one time. That's J.J. Bade, baby. stretch in the singing of take me out to the ball game. and struck out five but did not have the kind of command he had in his first start at Seattle and the 0 2 and there's his first strikeout of the ball game he gets Soderstrom to end things in the third there's a strikeout of Rooker second out of the inning he gets out the two best hitters for Oakland and Butler to center field and Rooker here with the four seam fastball top of the zone just throws it by Rooker there With a flip to Soderstrom. Mason Miller getting the final out in the eighth. They have the crowd on their feet. Story earlier in the year. Butler strikes out swinging one away. Jankowski to Schumann. And the ground ball. A W on a day that everybody in the Bay needed one. Chundos. 103 top shelf. Ding ding. That's the tardy bell, Mr. Lowe. Gonna need to see a hall pass. Mason Miller. 102. Tavares down. Two gun. Jankowski to Schumann. And the ground ball will end things. A three to two win for the Oakland Athletics. One more win for the Oakland fans.
A W on a day that everybody in the Bay needed one. Started playing Oakland Athletics baseball in 1968. The flag will fly once again on the field. And of course, it's Max Schumann running it. Boy, Shu. Dirt from the field. Many of the players and staff have taken their final trip up to Mount Davis to soak in the view from that vantage point. Read the signs. Taking a memento if you can find one. Anything to remember what this place means to so many. What a big responsibility for the young pitcher in JT Ginn today. Take the mound one last time, relishing the opportunity of pitching in front of a sold out crowd here at the Coliseum. And I think just in the conversations that I was mentioning yesterday, talking about today, this is a guy who was ready and waiting for this day. Ring him up on the inside corner. It's Severus called out on strike. And that'll bring up Jankowski. A swing and a miss. Kelly goes down a couple strikeouts for JT Ginn. That'll get the crowd going here at the Coliseum early. Kotze clapping it up as he walks out and takes the baseball from his young starter. Gives him a hug on his way out. This sold out crowd will come to their feet and also give the young man a cheer. 46,889 fans, the largest at the Coliseum. And JT Ginn giving the Oakland faithful the love right back.